Good evening everyone, welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all doing? Hopefully pretty good. What's new? What's happening? What's all that kind of cool stuff? I don't even remember what we were doing and I, I just played it not yesterday but the day before so that's always a bad sign, right? Hmm. Yeah, we've got the skill point. I don't... I mean, there's something to be said for two, put, just putting the two more points in armor. Um, do I really care about missing out on a potential 6% chance to crit? Maybe I, maybe I do, but... I think we go armor on Pokemon. Just because he does seem to get the shit beat out of him pretty bad. Unfortunately, it's only 5% extra armor per skill point. Um, we, we're not even at 100 base protection. Uh, so, you know, if we do manage to hit that, cool. Um, but otherwise, we're probably realistically getting 2.53%. Let's say 3%, or like 3 more armor per. So, yeah, we're getting 3 protection, which, you know, is something. We got 4 in that case. But I, I think that's the way we go. I think we get his, his heavy armor without penalty. I don't think we ever get the final point. Hopefully we can max critical then. Just for more damage. I think that's kind of how he uses his character. But he does pretty consistently get the shit kicked out of him in a fight. Uh, and it'd be nice to change that. Um, borrowed, on the other hand. Whoa. Oh, uh, I thought it said give 25 evasion. I was like, god damn, son. This is a very interesting thing, how... The meteor stuff. Oh no, never mind. It's just just the shield gives resist fire. I was gonna say because like that's kind of cool, but the kind of person you would have like heavy armor on is someone with a fair amount of strength, so that doesn't really necessarily help them. Anyway, um, where are we headed next? Good question. I think in here. Um. Snake Den is new to us. I think that is likely where we go. I don't think we have any other new... Um... I mean, we can take a peek. Like, we can just, like, go take a walk around. I do like the fact that, remember, I dug in both those areas. Because, yeah. We, uh, we mistakenly... <laughs> um... We are off by one tile when digging for the bean deer here previously. Then Origami, we're gonna actually start using his firearms in another level. Is there our light magic going? How's the audio? Is it okay? Is it too high? Too low? It's pretty fine. Hey Foxy, it's going pretty good. How are you? What's this? Hey! Nice, we found one of the crossbow bolts. Origami. He's actually missing a nut. Okay, there's, he had two more. Um, one of them is shoved up the leprechaun's ass. Unlikely we'll come across that one again. Uh, but one can dream. You're happy this weekend? Oh, do you not work this weekend? Technically, it's my weekend off, but I traded last Sunday for this Saturday. Um, because I wanted to, um... Oh, what? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I thought we came back through here after we entered the manor. Interesting. Oh, that was... Super cool. Hmm. Nice. A little 
rogue hood. Another dexterity. Hmm. It's okay. We have... We don't have the full rogue set, unfortunately. Yeah, I was prepared for that to bite me. You got that right. We ever find the rogue boots? Or pants? Is there a benefit to finding the whole set? Oh, I'm curious now. Hmm, interesting. Well, I kind of got distracted because I started talking, as I do. Um, I don't remember if we ever did this gold key or not, but that's fine. Have an extra gold key, which I think we take going forward. And we're just looking for a new light weapon, eventually. Is there a different design to the real and fake chests? I haven't noticed one. Honestly, I, I don't... Well, hmm. I was going to say I don't think there should be, but I'm kind of... I uh, Either way. I think it is cool when, uh, like, an, obs uh, an astute observer can be like, Aha! What I saw. Okay, we do have rogue pants. We have rogue boots. So this is a video game with achievements, and I would make the assumption that we do I bet you there's like an achievement for wearing the whole set yeah there was nice I don't think there's any benefit to it x24 23 Yeah. So let's just go back to what we were wearing before because we liked it. And the the bear helmet like just gives you so much. What are our rogues at here? That's kind of cool. Nice. Yeah, I don't think it should be obvious, but I, I think it'd be cool if it was something that you could notice. You know. Oh, I forgot you had the rogue chest piece. We almost have this whole set too. The reed set. Maybe we keep the gauntlets in case- no, no, we'll remember they're here. You smack it to destroy the items inside. I don't think you can smack a chest. Um. Anyway, shipwreck. No. No. Perfect. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead into the the serpent. What's it called? The pyramid of some. The pyramid of Umas. Also known as you know, fucking snake pit. It looks really cool though, eh? I, I like the look of it. So the other thing too is we... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. What? Random. You know, we're just gonna fight these like head on, but they're pretty weak now. Yeah, I'm not... I wonder if they're weak to lightning. Is there water creatures? Yeah, yeah, nice. I always like it when stuff like that just kind of makes sense. Why, though? I don't know. It has felt like the game has just randomly started turning up the bullshit lately. Um, what the... Oh, this is open now. No, it isn't. There's got to be a switch down here. You think? So I would assume if they put a switch, it would be under the water here. We already solved that puzzle.
Oh man, there's just like a ton of these fuckers now. accurate yeah 94 accuracy I'm not quite sure how I'm missing I mean I don't miss often but I definitely miss on occasion it's like what the shit I don't even really get experience for killing these monsters like it's not overly worth doing I suppose Fish. All right, now we'll start looking for the switch. Man, I fucking love love this game, though. Part of me is wondering what we play after. Do we play a more traditional game? Do we keep playing games like this? It's like I'm totally down with that. Like I can't imagine there being a switch on a wall like these. Does that makes sense. Cause it's just like a like a stone wall. Like how is it? You know. I imagine, if anything, the switch should be, like, up top somewhere. There's also... There's a teleporter here we don't know how to get to. Um... Yeah... Silent One has a friend who's more willing to speak. Head towards the sunrise beyond the gate. <clears throat> yeah, we met the guy who told us about the archives puzzle. The only other puzzle I think we have on the go is the... I mean, that's done. This one, where there's nowhere to hide from sunlight, the loneliest of all trees resides. Right, and then we're still not sure if we want to tank Borrowed's health. Like, my, like, 50 health is such a huge fucking deal. But then, like, gains 25% fat, more XP. So I'm not sure that really matters so much currently. Your gun? Yeah, we will work on me. Yeah, and then we have the one ring, which... Doesn't seem to do anything. Whoa! Gives health and energy. But it doesn't say it does anything, but it just did? Does it give you stats? Is that why? 18, 14. Just straight up gives you... 5 health and 5 energy. Weird. That is weird, right? It, like, it doesn't say anything? I mean, I, I know it's a reference, but I just, I don't know. Wonder if there's a secret there. Okay, um... I don't think we do have any other secrets. 
Borders game gates closed, answers the archives. We solved that puzzle. Yeah, there was this area too that we couldn't go into. Let's check that out. Figure, check everything out before we, we commit to the next dungeon. Because dungeons take, you know, a hot minute. Which is fine, but... Yeah, there's another teleporter here. So let's make it a different symbol so I remember. Sunsets so that's west, so go west past the gate. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh shit, derp. Of course, the land of the rising sun is Japan, which is to the east. For some reason, I thought, for some reason, I don't know, we talked to this guy and I was like, oh yeah, there's that gate over there that goes to the cemetery. And I just at that point assumed it was that direction. Okay. So oh, let's, uh, uh -huh. west from here beyond eight. Now we do know there's this guy. I don't know if it counts. This as a gate. Gate to the fifth shrine is hidden from sight. Gate to f fifth shrine hidden from sight. Because that's the thing, right? There's only four um, like elemental orbs uh, that we need to get into the the castle or the manor or whatever you call it. And we have those. Uh, we've made those. However, we have one extra power gem? Yes, we have one extra power gem. Um, because I presume... I don't know if we need this to beat the game or if it's like a secret. But we have, I, uh, we have to find like the fifth shrine and get another four power gems for that one, right? I would assume. Um, but, let me see, I'm just guessing, so. I don't know. So west from here, beyond the gate... Yeah, so this way is west. Like beyond what gate? Maybe here? Fifth element was you the whole time. Oh, you. Everyone knows the fifth element is Lilo Dallas. <laughs> I fucking love that movie. Lilo Dallas multi-pass. Like what? Is excellent though. Gary Oldman plays like just an amazing villain. I don't know. Is there anything? Anything else? Oh, no, we knew this. That's how we get on here. Is there anything else here? Any, any, any secrets? Fifth element is great. Tons of fun. Let me bust stuff down. Hmm. No, well, I think I think this is it. It just made, like, because see, I'm wondering if west here beyond the gate means this thing right here. Because, I mean, there's a gate here. I don't know. That doesn't really make sense, right? It kind of seems like it would be this way. 
But this is the uh, the ruins, which is also doesn't seem right. So maybe it's in here? Like in the hamlet? I don't know. Weird how when you go back, that tile looks so big. You know what I mean? Oh, what the fuck? That's filthy. How would you ever find... Well, what does that do? How many times did I push that? Um... Like, I was just saying, this one tile just looks really sketchy, and I thought this tile was a puzzle... But I clicked here, and the bottom of my cursor was hitting this thing. Um, I wonder if that's for this. I don't know how many times I hit it, though. That fuck. So now I'm really worried that we have missed a bunch of secrets, because that button was... You know, it, it was pretty difficult to spot. Let's not, uh... Let's not pretend here. That was a little nasty. All right, we're gonna give Borrow the the extra XP. Okay, that does open it. Yeah, interesting. Oh, I thought that puzzle was gonna be a lot more obtuse. Uh, like to get in there. I thought that was a big secret. That all that's down here? Can't see anything else. Oh, nice mirror pants. A runestone necklace. It's kind of useless. More ammo. Hey, Yanks, how you doing? The mirror suit is pretty cool, actually. I like it. It's light armor, but it gives resist to all plus five. I guess actually it's just worse than these pants, but it's pretty pretty interesting. You can even see the announcement. What announcement? What do you mean? I just saw you cheer and say hi. What are you talking about, you little goober? The streaming announcement? Oh, you didn't. Oh, I was like, what are you talking about, you crazy boy? You crazy man. Yeah. Uh, so, we gotta solve the past the gate puzzle. You see, you see this, eh? There's a path right there. Okay, that could be another secret. Keep that in mind. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. You crazy son of a bitch. Well. I can't figure out how to get to the teleporter. That, I do not know. <sighs> I'm, like, trying to... Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's go check this out, though. That seems kind of cool. And then, whether I solve that or I don't, we'll head into the pyramid. Thud ug time? Yeah. Well, that, that last little fucking secret... First off, I don't think the mirror pants are that, like, worth hiding. They're pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, they definitely don't work with the team I have. Because, like, I mean, elemental damage is kind of a thing, but it's not really... Like, I wouldn't stress myself out over it. You know? I feel like... Eh, 
Well, anyway. Is what it is. Uh, this already had a bunch of switches in this little area. Like, I've already hit this one, because that was the big obvious one. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably going to be hard to find. If there is a switch in here. I'm, and I'm worried, too, that this tile set in particular... I've missed some switches in because of how, um, like how nasty that last one was. So I did have a lot of trouble with the, the mining ones as well. I mean, we did eventually, I feel, I feel f more confident about the mining ones than I do about this now because God damn. Speaking of Thud Ugg, though, I have been thinking about Doom. Yeah, you, uh. I found, like, a, a forge down in the. Uh, the Crystal Caves. And it was, like, the Forge of the Stars. I was like, well, that's fucking probably the meteor. So I put it on, and it made. Uh, a meteor. Flail mace thing. Um. Uh. Hallway? It looks. It does look like this is something, right? Not just me? Maybe it is just me. Wouldn't it be insane? If there was a switch on this wall that gets dropped down, because you never get to see this wall from the other side before. That would have been bullshit. I would have been like, how the fuck does this mechanism work, if that's the case? I would have been straight up angry. <laughs> Not really. But, like, you know, that's kind of cool. However, that was not the answer. Wait a minute. I wonder, though, about the other one. Let's find out. Where's the other switch? Just over here, right? Oh. It was in here? It's on the outside. Well, it turns the puzzle off. Which I, I guess doesn't matter? I don't think we need it on nor off at the moment. I wonder if I had to have arranged them in a different way. Hmm, very interesting. No, I don't see anything. Might as well turn this back on as we're leaving. I don't know if it matters one way or another, but... This does seem like something that we'll come back to it if we don't find all the secrets in the game, right? But, yeah, it's pyramid time, bitches. Where are we at for secrets? 52 out of 77? I feel like that's pretty reasonable. You figure it's like five per area or something? I mean, that's just a number I pulled out of my ass, but, you know, how many areas have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. I mean, let's just say actually a little less. Maybe let's say like three, four per area. Ooh, I don't think there's that many areas still left to beat, so maybe not. Hmm. Oh, this is like the symbol of the island, whatever that means. Or it's the symbol of the master. Who, as we know, the master holds all the answers. Or so they say. I don't know if I'll be disappointed if snakes don't, like, start coming alive and attacking me at some point during this. I might be, I don't know. 
New recipe. Oh, a speed potion. Cool. Not sure I care. I'll take it anyway, but... Still not sure I care. Uh, that could actually... That could be pretty good on the Barbarian. Speed boost. Yeah, I think it just um, improves their cooldowns so you can attack faster and stuff. Yeah, this looks like a pile of shit. Sonic. Yeah, we Sonic Hero now, boys. Tomb of the Hyborn. I'm glad we all know how to read ancient hieroglyphics of the Forgotten. Um, uh, uh, three unknown slaves, unknown shaman, perhaps. Maybe Basan of Zafi, who was exiled from the tomb. The nameless guy. Okay, I wonder if that ties in any of these. Could be cool. I figured check out his, his shenanigans first. Domo Arigato, Mr. Forgato, and all that. Let's take a torch. It's been a while since I've had one. You never know when you'll have a torch-related puzzle. This already looks like Foxville. Oh, I don't have to hold it down? Oh, really? This is like late game, boys. Mummies are fucking weak. Like, we, we shit on mummies for breakfast. It's kind of weird they give me mummies. Ooh, this looks good. Can I crack these open? They look really cool, though. We also have that new meteor spell. I guess we could think about casting that. Somehow I killed him in the previous tile. I don't know if you saw that. That was kind of funny. Right. Ah, uh, there we go. It's pretty good, actually. Turns out. Old meteor spell. Oh my god, the mummies just suck. Really? Like, why are you putting that in my video games now? Oh, man. Go fucking Dragon Ball on them. What is this? I'm not sure Meteor Storm's that good, but damn is it satisfying. Oh, whoops. I took one too many, uh... Oh, nice! We can make another fancy potion.
Okay, all that does is reset this, okay. I like too how like when this goes up kinda looks like teeth, right? Interesting anyway. At least the buttons here are pretty easy to spot. Well, okay. Interesting. Balmer's headpiece. Plus two protection, plus one vitality. That's just garbage. Oh my god, the rats are too powerful. <laughs> that just flies right over the rats, just like, yeah. Have we actually hit a point where we, we've become too strong? Is that a thing? Oh, shit. Whoa, the other one just, like, juked by it. That was cool. Never too strong. Yeah, but, like... We're, like, randomly not taking damage from shit right now. Okay, where are they? There's two crossbow bolts somewhere on this switch. Because we didn't auto pick them up. Where the fuck did they go? What? Oh, there they were. I guess they were on the other snake. the first switch wall? What do you mean? Like where the switch was? Because all that switch did was um, lower the or raise the wall that gets lowered during the trap. Are you okay? Are you just going to keep bleeding? Yeah, I'm not I'm not curing that. Well, I did wonder what was down here. What the fuck is your resist poison? Sorry, are you telling me your resist poison is 96? Yeah, I was gonna say, could this just go away right about now, or...? I was pretty sure you were basically immune to the damn stuff. But basically, and, uh, are immune. Of course, two dis different things. What's in there? A note? Okay. A poisonous venom? Oh, you. I mean, technically true? Like, I, you know, I can't argue with your logic. However, uh, the game only has poison and disease. And I'm not sure resist poison affects disease at all. This is why you carry a torch. You see, that's, that's why you carry one. Because there's always a fucking chance that for some reason they're going to throw baby's first puzzle into the mix. And they did. Uh, so... That, like, that's seriously one of like the first puzzles you find is like, oh, all of these have torches except this one. You're sitting there going, hmm. Seems fine, I guess, whatever. It'd be funny if you spawn mummies out of those and they just fall. It's like they're dumb. Oh yeah, of course. 
So this reminds me of um, the final dungeon in Dungeon Master 2. Which is not your friend. No, that was quite easy. What are we here just now? It sounded like it was over here. Tomb key. The final dungeon in Dungeon Master 2's got this part where you're Say, did I just accidentally fucking soft lock the game? But, uh, no, we're good. We're good. Perfect. I feel like we should have done this area earlier. I'm not sure the recommended progression for stuff in this game. Some of it feels very easy now. I don't know, maybe these snakes are, are quite bullshit. Shurkin's any good. Six to nineteen. No. Good to know. Hmm, I wonder if I have to make these in a pattern or That feels like a puzzle, right? Yeah, I don't really get this. Anyway, let's check down here. Got it. Torch. Hmm. The game really wants us to have shurikens. fall asleep trying to get out, or what's going on with him? Oh, that takes us back here? Those are just, yeah, just the two. Like, th these are really weak enemies. For, like, a, us at this stage in the game. Like, this is super wonky. Alright, what's the note say? Is my measuring cord cursed? I go back and forth between this room and the one above, and I can't get my measurements to match. Oh? One, two, three, four, five, five, three. That note's a little too heavy. Uh, well, it's three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six that way. Interesting. Okay, well, you know, keep that in mind.
How did I get through here in the first place? Oh, I teleported in, didn't I? Oh, right, yeah. Okay, right, let's go check out the Tomb of the Highborn. Nice, we like that. Um, let's see. Snake Temple. Templar. I just hit an R for no reason. Burial Chambers. I kind of like to check out the whole area before we start, like, dinking with stuff. Visible wall? Yeah, I'm wondering. We don't have anything that necessarily lets us see invisible stuff, though. But, like, it kind of implies that we're going to need that going forward um, to find the fifth element thing, right? A gift for Numum, the warrior, his companion, their child. Eternity welcomes them. A fucking moon blade. What's an upgrade to my fist dagger? Actually, I, sh I should really just be doing this. Yeah, because our dex bonus. So accuracy plus 10, shit. 10 to 31 damage, fine. Uh, pretty low cooldown, I guess? Yes. Yeah. Um, flurry of slashes, that's excellent. Hey, Sing Su, what's up? Pyramid offers more secrets and puzzles. Not much fighting in here. Good! I love, actually, I like the combat, but I do really like secrets and puzzles. A Wand of Fear. Okay. It's um technically a mace, actually. Not like a scepter. Cloud of Nightmares. Let's put it there. Just in case there's some weird interaction with that. Gift for Harmon the Merchant. Old was his only company, the Eternity welcomes him. Harmon. That's Mun Mun Far, it's not quite Mum Mum. Okay, no, I don't think I found a grave for those guys. I was just wondering. What symbol's that? None of them? Okay. None of them. I don't think we, we need to have any knowledge of the elements going forward. Sing Su's a pretty fun name as well, though. What's it a, uh... What's it related to? Darts? I'll take them. Don't exactly need want them, but... Uh, no, sorry, go popping open the graves, I guess. So the only issue with not fighting things is that's the only way you get experience. Which I'm sure for some people is like, oh, who cares? But it's kind of a big deal because I think we need to level up before the final fight. Hmm. These are really interesting. The, um... Like wall sconces that are just sort of magical, I guess. Oh, actually, it should be Sing So. Oh, okay. What's Sing So mean? Yeah, like the puzzles here are too easy as well. Like that—that that was a secret. Like I've hit secret, like switches for secrets that are like a thousand times worse by this point. Oh, storm amulet, cool. Resist shock. Um. 
Yeah, this is a, that's probably going in the trash pile somewhere. Probably in here. Say. Well, am I going to have to deliver the Moonblade and stuff to these people? I'd rather not, because it's like the first new, like, light weapon I've found in, like, a thousand years, because the game has a hard-on for heavy weapons. But, whatever. The kind of stuff you don't know going in. You build a party composition, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you roll the dice. That's the way she goes. Which, you know, whatever. I don't mind. If I was bothered by that stuff, I wouldn't have played on hard. Greater healing potion. Kill. So, do I have to deliver these items? certain tomb? Or more importantly... A gift for Numum the warrior, his companion, and their child. So this was the Moonblade. Do I have to put something in here that is suitable for a child? Gold was his only company. Uh, there's not a lot of gold items in the game. There's a gold key. I guess our jeweled scepter? Pretty fucking gold. Hang on to that for a second. But then what would a child like? Fish. Kids love weird dumb things. Meteor sling seems appropriate for a child. Oh, you. Hey, kid. Poke your eye out. I think it's shoot your IO, but it doesn't actually matter. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Unfor Ooh. So unfortunately, th like this is my progression forward, right? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, the only other puzzle we have left to solve here is this room here. No, forgot who had my ropes are. So this should really be another three tiles. I didn't see a uh, speech. Doesn't mean there isn't one. I just haven't seen one. So these co-relate, huh? Is the very back one open? Yes. So that should have fallen. Try this. Oops, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so he's here. Okay, cool. So there, we have now thrown something onto the other side of this wall. The use of that? Well, who knows? There's a bunch of switches. I'm wondering if in here we don't need to, like, have them all up at once. You know what I mean? 
Oh, I see. So wait, each of them is these three, eh? Like the three in front of them, is that right? Yeah. It's not, then it's not possible to have them all weighed down. Um, for example, if I do this one, doesn't matter because they all do the same amount. Close those three. If I do this one, this is the we currently have, does this but opens that. Like there's, there's no way. Hmm. That is very curious. So what's more likely then is I have to make symbol. Now this is a proper puzzle. Let's go downstairs, see if there's anything down here that makes me think of a puzzle. There's this, the old dick and balls, the Starship Enterprise. Could be something, potentially, probably not. Um... What if we look up? It doesn't seem to be any any pattern here. What if we check over here? The opposite side. The same three by three. That's true, it is not so easy anymore, yeah. It's not that a puzzle like this is necessarily difficult, however. Um, in the same way, I don't think... Um, like if someone's like, decode this message. I don't find decoding messages difficult, just tedious. Um, like this puzzle might be extremely simple once you know how to find the solution. Just right now, we haven't seen anything that gives us that. Which is fine. Like, I, I'm not shitting on. I think Grimrock 2's had a lot of really fun puzzles. Some of them are, are a little overly simple. Like, this is a recurring theme. I wonder if I should have opened this door first, but most of the keys are locked to a specific door. We haven't seen any other combination of the 3x3 grid, right? Aha. Is this? These rooms aren't 3x3. Three three. If they were, I'd, I'd assume that was a thing. This is a 3x3 three three area. Um... So what's it saying then, if, if we were to look at these? Specific ones to cover? No, because it reuses the same one twice. Hm. I'm not sure I tried putting one on each. I'm sure I did. That must have been the first thing I did. That's the first thing you usually do. I haven't seen, like, a switch. Hmm. Maybe on the ceiling, perhaps? No.
What if I'm missing a key to the other room and the other room has the solution? I feel like we've solved this area though. Here's got some stuff we can't interact with yet. It's possible we have missed a switch. Yeah, because right now our only riddle, potentially a riddle, is the Moonblade is a gift from Numum the Warrior, his companion, their child, and Amon the Merchant. Gold was his only company. So I assume we solved this puzzle. It lets us in here we get a key. I don't know how to open that one necessarily. Unless each of these opens their own door. Okay, gold seems the most... Like It seems like there could be a lot of things for gold. So why don't we think about instead... Um, what would a child like? And again, I don't think consumables are ever the answer to a puzzle. Although we, yeah, we might have encountered something with that earlier. This guy was a warrior? What if we gave him like a helmet? Okay. What if we're going about this the wrong way? What if those are the gifts? And we need to... Simply solve whose... Out of these four tombs is whose tomb. And place the gifts on them. Okay, so this guy's buried alone, which Hamon was. Hey, thanks, Singso. Um, there's three here. Oh, hey, Yanks! New shitter remote. Actually, just got uh, got in that that one that borrowed one on the Discord. <laughs> it's fucking great. Um, but you know, you, you tell Twitch something, and it takes ten years to get back, and that's cool. Okay, so new mom, the warrior, his companion, and their child. So there's three bodies here. I wonder if it's actually that simple. Here there's two. Here there's four. That seems to be the case, actually. Um, so the one who's alone, that would be the merchant, is... Yeah, gold was his only company. So he gets this wand of fear that we've already given away. And um, we'll come back for the moon blade. <laughs> Two here. He had a wife and child. So, let's go back to what we had. Oh, yeah, it did work. Nice. Okay, so that's the solution. 
We'll have to remember to come back for the Moonblade. Uh, Moonblade. I mean, oh, sorry, sir. I have to kill you real quick. The wand is meh. You know, it's kind of interesting to give Bard a little bitch slap weapon for a panic, but. I don't like that, but nevertheless, we stood on it. Uh, well, technically that emote box, like, <laughs> I ran out of, uh, spots for. <laughs> so that's, um, because Twitch gave you, like, emotes that you can give to people who, like, hit a, like, a bit cap, I guess? So that, like, technically it's for, like, 10,000 bits. So I think only, like, Rudy and Yanks have it. But, it's, you know, it's whatever. It's just fun. Um, but I think you can get any of the emotes using, like, the clunt bucks. Like, the little, like... You just watch the channel thing. I kind of want to mess with those um, a little more. I think I can lower the amount and just make it so like if you watch for like an hour, like you can get an emote for the day because that seems like super cool. Um, I don't see. Yeah, there you go, Fox. I don't really see the point in limiting that from people. Um, unless, of course, like, you know, you're a channel that's like, that's your job. I totally get that. Um, so this seems like the obvious play. Just throw something across there. It did something anyway. You only get two of those? Oh. Okay. We don't have anyone throw build, so we don't technically need the... Um... Ooh, this got a little saucy here. Why can I go here? Oh my god, Yanks, that's offensive, and I love it. I love offensive stuff. You know, I'm starting to get to a point in my life where I feel, like, more confident. And I've been really enjoying, um... Aha! Yeah, that closes that. Interesting. Really enjoying a lot more garish things. Um, not that I didn't... On a, like, sort of ironically, I guess, is the way of putting it. Like, enjoy them. Oh! Ooh, this is a little sneaky, and I like it. But we can't use this. It's actually too small. What I actually want to do is I want to climb down here. I'm always curious as to what goes down. Oh, wrong one. Oh. Okay, that works. I, I always just have to explore the areas down, right? You know, there could be secrets, there could be treasure and loot, there could be another anti-venom we're never going to use. So you just suck it up if you get poisoned in this party. Oh, oh okay, interesting. Well, that comes into play a bit later. Is this a crookhorn boat? Just a short boat? Get the fuck out of here. Actually, that will be useful right now. And anyone who needs it, yeah. I want to go down here. I hit a switch. Remember? Or was it? Okay, it sounds like it's a like a wall. Switch south. Sounded vaguely. Okay, it's here. Oh, for the, for the record though, Fox, it's because I only actually have two emotes as well. It's funny, like, normally I would never stand and fight in Grimrock. But, like, yeah, we've, we've literally just hit a point in our career where we can just fucking not give a shit. I guess we can use one of the anti-venoms. Even though you're 96% resistant poison, or however poison resist works in this game, we'll never know. 
Oh, that's cool. Nice. That is probably going to be very useful later. And the last thing I want to do is carry that around. Um, if we were playing Might and Magic, we are not. But back when we did on stream, I had uh, my notepad, as I would, you know, do all, all through my life. But when you play these games like Stonekeeper or Might and Magic, I would write everything down. Grimrock, you don't have to. I definitely feel like having a, a notepad is useful. But in Grimrock, I can type anything I want on the map. Makes it just super easy. I really like that feature. As well as they give you physical fucking notes. Uh, but in, like the older style games, like... You know, um, Dungeon Master, Eye of the Beholder, like, you know, Might and Magic, for example, was my big one. Um, we played probably like a hundred and some hours of like, Might and Magic, like, uh, what, two, three, and four? Or something? But, like, yeah, like, you talk to a guy who says, Oh, yeah, if you ever see a, a rock with a crack in the bottom right, make sure you spin around six times in a circle. And you're like, yeah, cool, whatever. And then you see a, a rock ten hours later with a crack in the bottom right, and you're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you just write everything down. Uh, that's cool, though, we got another piece of the mirror set. Um, do we ever get, like, a... The buckler kind of looked like a piece. We, do we have the whole set? I don't think so. Boots, glove... No, we need a hoodie. Like, a, a mirror hat. If we find that, I'm sure we'll get, like, a, an achievement for putting it on. And that's the only reason I play games. I want virtual gratification. Um, obviously that's not true. I don't even usually 100% games. Um, I, like, usually get, like, a 95% from just playing it and being, like, thorough. But, like, if I don't get everything, I'm usually like, well, whatever, you know. Life. Read that note. Oh, piss balls. <laughs> no? That's fucking ironic. Um, and, and yes, that's the, the actual definition of irony. When the audience is, is aware of something that the, of course, the main character is not. Or one of the characters, nevertheless. But yeah, no, I just looked at this. I was like, cool, a note. Put it in my inventory. Didn't make a note of it. <laughs> Jokes. I was literally just talking about that. Sorry, a gift for Barul the Hedonist. Yes, please. His bloated remains needed six vessels. I do love the fact that the hedonist wasn't buried with six, like, like five other people. It's just saying, oh, no, this is one huge motherfucker. Um, because, yeah, you know, in theory, a hedonist um, can gain carnal pleasures from anything, as long as he does. So, what, what we need here... Is, can I reach this from this side? No, they were clever. Okay. So we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I suppose fucking trash. Get rid of it. Ah, there's our second tomb key. I assume this is going to show us the... The code, air quotes. But allow us to solve the puzzle, nevertheless. Okay... How do I open that? Why was this never closed? Um, was never opened. Weird. Now we didn't see a tomb. Yet. The six. No. One. I think this one was four, right? No, this is the four. Oh shit, there's a note here. Here lies Tehep the architect, his companion and their two loyal servant. Oh, uh, okay. If I had seen that note, I probably would have picked up in the puzzle a little faster. I still got there though, so I don't feel too bad about it. So we can probably lock this up.
Good night, Yanks. Are you ever confused by a note you leave yourself? All the time. Well, that's not true. Sometimes. Well, yeah, I don't think all the time is quite the correct way of putting it. Because the thing is, like, sometimes I'll, I'll write a note based on what makes sense in the moment. Which, you know, like, I think that's how you should write a note. But, occasionally, I will look at something and be like, I don't fucking get it. But I'm usually able to think of, like, why would I write something like this? Like, what was I thinking? And sort of reverse engineer it. Ah. The lighting here is interesting, to say the least. Oh, Osiris. Love it. How is this compared to the first game? Uh, that's a tough one. This game is bigger. So that's a thing. Um, I will say this game is probably better balanced. Uh, the original Grimrock was a lot easier to cheese and break. That said, I've still, like, broke this game. I'm playing on hard as a blind playthrough, and I'm just fucking shit-wrecking it. There was, like, a couple moments, of course, that happens. But there's definitely ways to cheese. But I'll say it's probably, probably more difficult because the balance in the first game was a little wonkier. That said... Um, this game has a lot more puzzles than the first. The first game has a lot more, you know, fighting, interesting little combats. This game, a lot of the combats are kind of put in areas where you get dropped and surrounded and you have to figure it out. Um, so that, that's what I would say. If you enjoy the combat in these games, uh, me personally, you know, it's, it's just part of the experience. But yeah. So now we have the other part. That acted a teleporter? It sounds like it acted some sort of a teleporter over here. No, that was that teleporter I was hearing. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is something I should mention. Good shout out, Sing So. Grimrock 1, I believe, does have a couple maps. I don't actually know what this is doing. Um, but I've heard, well, I haven't heard, but I saw in the workshop that Grimrock 2 is a whole bunch of maps. Um, and it looked like people were, were enjoying them quite a bit. It's a classic. Um, so, that's something to keep in mind. There's probably a lot more longevity to this game. The big question is, what did that button do? Oh, nice. Gotcha. Okay. So, my only assumption I can make is the button locks in how I've set these up. And these correspond to... Um, okay, that's very cool. So what we're going to do, actually, is find out which is front and which is back. Annoying, really. A 
Okay, so this guy's front. The left. Okay, so switch is... That's fine. We actually need that on. Or is it not? Okay, it's not even related to the switch. Um, so wait, what does the button do then? Okay, we'll get back to the button later. More important thing. Ah. Right. So now we need the north side open. Oh, and you have to do it all in one go. Okay, well, let's figure out. We need this. This, and of course these two. We need... Is there one over there? I can't quite see. Yeah. Okay. So the same pattern, actually. It's very curious. Yeah. Hey, Cosmic Cowboy. How you doing, man? Or... Well, okay. There can be female cowboys. <laughs> we do need this one, though. We know that much. Um, we don't need this one. I mean, I would assume female cowboy. Would you just call it a cowgirl? I've heard cowgirl used, but I don't know if that's actually the proper term. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's what that was opening. Cool. That's the rest of our mirror set. That's cool. Uh, let's throw it on somebody for shits and gigs. Guess we could do that. Because, um... You know, like a, a female firefighter. No, we don't have the... Yeah, we do. We do the mirror chest light. Not an achievement. Okay, so there could be a mirror shield, perhaps? Or it might not... I mean, this looks like it, but... Okay, well, that's fine. Anyway, we, we found that. That's cool. That was a cool thing we found. Let's go shove all this stuff in a box. And not quite forget about it, but... You know. These cannonballs are making you too damn heavy. for me. Okay. Uh, same thing for this side. We need... Top, right, and bottom. Yeah. Okay. So we just take this off. And that's done. I don't know if this is like timed or I assume it's just don't leave the room. Okay, not so bad. Another heavy useless weapon. I like it. I do love the fact the game just loves giving you heavy weapons. It really feels like they want you to have, like, ten barbarians, but... Oh, uh -huh, I roll, motherfucker. A floor two. Tomb of Sacrifice. Sounds good. Tomb of Offerings. So this mirrors 
this room. Yeah. Doesn't look like they're actually over each other, but I feel like that's supposed to be sort of the implication. Okay, cool. Moving teleporter. That's kind of fun. Lizard on a stick. So do I have to throw something in a certain direction? Is that the word? Well, that's fucking cool. This thing is super fucking cool. Love it. Oh, fuck me. Hang on. Uh, might be dead here. We're good. Just one of these antidotes, just because the game has decided to be a little shat. I, this is the first time I think I've landed, got a foot injury, and not immediately been, been unable to move. Uh, so you know what, I appreciate that. It's weird there's no, like, mana health potion combo. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I'm totally fine with that, but it's odd that combining those two ingredients don't make some sort of a, like, a rejuvenation, like, like maybe not as good as either, but some, some similar kind of potion, right? You normally get something like that, or, or some other form of healing anyway. It is curious. You also landed on a snake, yeah. Fucking Goomba stomped it. It's pretty cool. I didn't see, see what that opened. Oh! Okay. That's cool. But that switch opened a wall? Did it just let me back into this teleport? Is that all it did? I went too fast. Oh, I just injured my balls, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's all it did. I, I'd sorry, I just can't sleep at night if I don't know what a switch actually does. I'm like, wait a minute. All right, let's continue forth. It soften your fall. Yeah, you're right. Maybe. Yeah, I'm down with that. Zaffy khakis. God damn. Get out of here. Your energy potion. I have far too many. Yeah, I, I don't heal that often. That cheese the shit out of the game. <laughs> Which unfortunately, you're not, not actually uh, able to see me do right now. Because um, these fights are piss easy. Oh, fuck you. It might have been because I stepped on that switch, I'm not sure. So 
So one way I found of completely choosing the game is this box. I mean, this box gives you many ways to choose the game. You get fought by a lot of enemies, drop a box here, fight one. You can cast, like, uh, I have three concentration right now, which I think is the bare minimum for box. Um, but, at, but at this level, I can box, cast one spell, and then be able to get my box ready here or to reapply it here, but it's always safer to drop it here. Um, because if you reapply it too soon, like you click the button too soon, you put it on yourself, which is a pro fucking problem. Um, the, the other way I found of like really breaking the game though, is when, when you're fighting like the nastiest enemies, cause I'm on the hard difficulty, I'm doing Iron Man so I can only heal and save at, at these crystals. And um, there's some enemies that just fucking wreck you in this game. So you're fighting an enemy, right? Bam, 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 bam. You're trapped in a corner because that's just, you know, you just get dropped in a corner sometimes in this game. What do you do? It's no problem, kid. Uh, this box lasts for I don't know how long. Six seconds, is that right? Because I'm level three? Or maybe, I, I, it feels like eight. So let's say eight seconds. Point is, that's real time. So let's watch what you can do. One, two... Five, six, and there you go. So it is six, and then you're back in the fight. Um, yep, that's exactly as broken as it seems, but I abuse it. Just get nasty fights. Just drop that box. Make your heal potions. Get a little nap in. Box again. our little journey. I'm very curious as to Yeah, that's interesting. But this the the thing you couldn't fall in. Yeah, if you want to learn how to break games, just uh we should hang out sometime. <laughs> Cuz I will, like, I fight tooth and nail. What was that? I put this light out just now. So they gonna come back on? Can I turn other lights off? No, it's funny because most people that come in my chat are like, wait, you can do this with the box? Like, nobody tried it. And, I mean, I only tried it out of desperation, I'm going to be honest, but... Again, you, uh, you play these games on hard and you really learn some interesting things. I wonder what turning this light off does. That is very peculiar. I assume it has something to do down here. I know there were, there were three other lights up there, but only one of them made a click. And I ran through it. Is it the 
way I move into these? No, see, that doesn't play. This one does. That makes it come back on. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Alright, I get you, game. That's a very satisfying ability. Oh, fuck. Okay, hang on. Sorry. So this is the master, I assume? Sounds like we have a few more things to fight before we open that chest. Oh, Interesting, another horizontal tomb. This guy was... So we, I don't think it's that. Ooh. Light weapon uses strength, though. It does more damage anyway. <laughs> Damn, another flurry of slashes and some bonus accuracy. It's pretty good. Um, only problem is it doesn't use dex, and you know we got the we got the dex build going on, so that's a problem. Okay, so there's a door there. We know that. There's a door there. Uh, I assume that we need to go through. Overlooked a note. Oh, we found, like, the mirror gauntlets one? Oh, we got that. Oh, fucker. XX West, X4, XX for cemetery entrance. I don't know, I'm gonna say that was hiding. <laughs> Son of a XX West, X4, XX. Cemetery entrance. Like for here? I solved that. Huh. Figured out. We got there. This tomb of offerings. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh. oh, okay. She turns around pretty fast. That's cool. I like that. Oh, nice. 
Seems being too kind right now. That's another save so soon. I guess it's because otherwise you have to go all the way back downstairs, right? Which is shitty. The bomba. I mean, honestly, poison bombs really kind of suck. But I guess that's okay. does look pretty awesome. So what do I have to offer, game? What would you like? Bomb? Come back. I assume if I step on this, things happen. No. Two, three, four, five, six. Hey, it's my boy. Put in a vitality. Um, a blueberry pie. Shit. So, no, you're like the one guy that doesn't need to eat. I don't know. We might end up getting all the secrets. I feel like I've missed a couple. Like, sw switches in some odd spots, but... 59 out of 77, like, I mean, there's probably, like, one huge dungeon after this one, if not two. It's, it's paused. This is a weird room. I don't know why it's separated by two sets of doors. I think I like it. And you always miss exactly one secret? Yeah, I can see that. Right. I think I have a torch in one of these. Oh. Guardian of the Moon. So either she wants it to be super dark. Sun. Oh no, th this guy presumably would have the room super bright and she would have a super dark. I don't know if that's what I would guess. Sounds about right anyway. Oh no, I just slowed myself down. Time out. Stretch for secrets. 
so um, Dungeon Master 2, which, you know, I compare this game to a lot. Probably all heard by now. The final dungeon in it, the, the first area getting into the final dungeon, once you're, you know, one, like inside the dungeon proper, is a series of really tight corridors like this. With all these fucking switches and fireball traps and blah, 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 blah. And to get through it, you have to keep humping against all these walls, slip through invisible walls into like a second set of corridors on the inside deactivate like literally like you're ripping out the eyes that are spying on you from the other side but like oh my god it is a ball ache well, glad we haven't had that yet I like how they whoa they can turn and pivot at the same go I like that yeah, I don't really need more food at this point Fucking snake tail is very heavy. Whatever. Let's eat it. Okay, here's a classic little fireball puzzle. Why is it they... It's probably running out in a sec. Just checking to see if there's more, um... Like, if there's, like, a hidden switch, or, like, why... They want me to move fast in this room. There's always some kind of reason for it, right? changes how this goes okay that's cool does that is that all this does is changes the way this goes now it got rid of it oh, I see because it wasn't there before That's curious. Okay. Check down there. Hello, mommy. I was going to say, we haven't been here yet. Excellent. Okay, interesting. Two of the guardians. Well, that's rude. Why would I want that open? Unless that was the only way to get down somewhere? Jerky. Just, I don't need your goddamn food anymore. Or your torches. Don't eat them. Interesting. I feel like. I feel like. Oh. Double interesting. I feel like we want to fall down that one hole. I don't know why 
Oh. Interesting. Okay. That throws it here? Peculiar. Okay, there's a secret. Presumably you want something to fall down that, right? Okay, I wondered if it would as well. Some, is that my mole jerky that's landed on this? That's... Oh, what the fuck? Wow, what are the odds I solved that just by whipping that mole jerky in here? The, uh... Yeah, alright. Well, we'll leave these open anyway. Interesting. Very interesting. The problem, of course, is we're back down here. I guess that's fine. Sadly, I might have to call it. It's 2 a.m. How do I work? Okay, 8. Gotta be up for 30. Yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna go save then and we'll call it. Um well, I think I think we did pretty good. We got a nice little dent here and we found a couple secrets before we got in. Which is good. I, I still think like we're missing a couple, but I feel like we could probably go back. Find some of them without too too much issue. Uh, just based on notes I've left myself. We still haven't found a desert. I kind of thought the pyramid was going to be desert T. Um, because we have that note. Let's solve that. This one, where there's nowhere to hide from sunlight. So I assume like in the middle of the desert. The lonely of all trees resides. The missing limb will point you to the right direction. Just as far as the eye. Yeah. Hmm. We don't need these anymore. The fountain with an ancient oak by its side. Oh yeah, we also solved that. It doesn't matter though, because of course I've already saved. <laughs> well, anyway, that's a bunch of shit we've already solved. But take it easy, folks. You have a nice night, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.